First it was beef, now it's meat. Mumbaikars are outraged today over the move to ban meat in the city for four days during a Jain festival this month. Ironically, the ban itself isn't new. It started in 1994 for two days and was endorsed by the Congress NCP government in 2004 and then increased to four days. However, for much of this time, officials say it was hardly enforced. Now the BJP wants the ban extended to eight days, which is already the case in one of Mumbai's suburbs. My colleague Saurabh Gupta has more. The outrage that meat would be banned in Mumbai for four days during the fasting period of the Jain community first erupted on Twitter and then spilled offline. I have full respect for Jain religion. I think we all have respect for each other's religions. But, but you must keep religion within your own community and within your own house. This right after the news that the BJP-led municipality in Mirabhainder, a suburb of Mumbai, had banned meat for eight days for the same reasons and just six months after the ban on sale of bullock meat across Maharashtra. But soon it turned out that the Mumbai meat ban was not new. In 1994, the BMC passed an order calling for a ban of two days during the fasting period. In 2004, the Congress NCP government passed a similar order leading to a ban of four days. Let me clarify it very clearly that BJP or Chief Minister of BJP, Mr. Devendra Fadanvizji, has not proposed any ban in the state. But speaking to meat vendors and hoteliers, the Mumbai ban has existed mostly on paper, which may explain the widespread surprise of its existence. Uh, the question now is, will the BJP-led Maharashtra government, said to be eyeing the Jain vote, be more strict in its enforcement? After all, the orders are a legacy of the Congress NCP government, but the BJP has sought to extend it to eight days in Mumbai, just like they did in Mira Bhayandar, which has a large Jain population. But that may not be easy with the Sena, which controls Mumbai's municipality, opposing the ban. For now, it appears that political calculations may once again trump personal choice in India's most cosmopolitan city. Well, is this food fascism, as some people are calling it? Is this about respecting religious sentiments or is this hypocrisy by the Congress today, which is saying that this is an assault on freedoms when the Congress itself uh, gave birth, uh, in a sense, uh, to this entire meat ban during the Jain Festival? We've got Shehzad Poonawala, who's a Congress supporter, lawyer and activist, who's joining us here in the studio. Rakesh Sinha of the RSS joining Hi, us Banana. once again this evening. Shaina NC joins us live from Mumbai tonight and we'll also be joined shortly by author and columnist Chetan Bhagat and Rupin Doshi, uh, who belongs to the Jain community. He is a CEO in Mumbai and has some very interesting views uh, on this particular meat ban. So let me take this to you first, China. Uh, you've seen the reactions all day, the anger over this, this the topic's been trending online all day. Why should people be told, you know, uh, uh, that, that, that they can't eat a particular food? Uh, why not just leave it to individuals to decide. How does it hurt anyone's sentiment if anybody eats meat in the four corners of their home or at a restaurant? Nidhi, I don't think this issue is about vegetarian or non-vegetarian. Please put it in a reference to context. Meera Bhayandar has a population of eight and a half lakh, out of which one and a half lakh are Jains. Now, if this uh, uh, quantity of people or these Jains uh, approach the municipal corporation <coughs> and during their religious time of Pajushan, they request that, you know, there should be allowed to have no uh, meat being consumed. It is a provision which is provided by the Supreme Court, which says that the municipal corporations can take decisions based on the people who approach and what the house thinks, as in the corporators. Please do understand if we talk about being a secular uh, country, we talk about you know uh, the municipal corporation making all kinds of budgetary provision for the feast of Velenka or for that matter, whether it's not just the Christians, even the Muslims, the Hindus, etc. 
if we talk about being a secular nation, why shouldn't we also talk about religious tolerance? Where I may not agree with someone else, but at the same time, two days makes no difference. And this is a resolution which was passed during the Congress time in 1994. I and if we go back you, into and time, we asked 1964 as well. But you so, know, originally it was supposed to be two days. Then the Congress and NCP made it four days. The BJP government wants to make it eight days. So is this all about appeasement to a particular no, religious community as well? Well, is there days. politics that's being no, played into no, this? What no, about freedom please, of choice? Let me just please Look, clear freedom, this one point. Respecting everyone's religion me also means that everybody point. respects the way others practice their faith. Why should everybody stop eating meat? Because one community doesn't want everyone to. This is one second. First, let me just clarify. There's no talk about eight days anywhere. If at all, there is a two day uh, which has been happening since over 10 years. And as I said, during the Congress regime as well. This is not about vote bank or appeasing segments of society. This is just about being tolerant towards a particular community at a religious time such as Pajushan and especially in a place where they have such a large representation. This is not the first time that it's happened. It's happened in Gujarat. It's happened in Rajasthan, etc, etc. But I think Nidhi, at the same time when you question that why should I not, why shouldn't you also is a question. I mean, I come from a household where my mother's Muslim, my father's Hindu, my husband's Jain and you celebrate everything and at the same time you adhere to all philosophies of all communities. I so I find it quite shocking that we're making such a big deal out of an yeah, issue because, which is because only somebody who is not all some, faith. There are there are Jains also who may you know who who may not agree with this. They may not eat meat. And we have Rupan who's supposed to be joining us any minute now, who I believe is one of those, but who respects the right of other people to do that. Having said that, Shahzad, my question is that how hypocritical is it of the Congress then to attack the BJP for this when this actually happened during the Congress's time? I mean, this is the Congress that said that uh, there should be this ban. How can you blame the BJP? Okay, so first of all, if China's arguments or the BJP spokesperson's arguments for 15 months after coming to power is going to be that because the Congress did something, we are following it, I think that's a very bad argument. Because the Congress has, as you know, no, that's has not. gone out of power. One second, China. And you know, if you want to take the, con if you want to advocate Congress policies, you're free to, and they should designate you as UPA3 spokesperson. But frankly, let's get over this aspect of you saying that because the Congress did something, uh, we are justified to do it. Now let me make two substantial points at you. First of all, you said that we should respect sentiments. I no, no, I want to get on to the Congress point first. All right. Why did the Congress do it in the I first think, place? Because I if think, we're going to attack the BJP sure. and, now, and, and, and now, uh, now bring uh, out, the BJP for, yes. for not respecting freedom of choice, then the Congress is to blame for the same. Okay. We had a debate on sedition so yesterday. Your problem? A cartoonist was arrested under yes. the sedition law. Uh, uh, seems to be by the, by the Congress NCP so. government. So the same Congress also enforced this mm -hmm. meat ban. So why why blame the BJP okay. for it? So basically, or you can't what? say that ideologically or different. Okay, but you still have to allow me to make yeah. my substantial yeah. points. I'm re replying first to on this yeah. Congress point. So you are pointing out at the hypocrisy of the Congress criticizing something which it did earlier, correct? Okay, I completely agree with you on there, that point. That it may seem hypocritical, but is it not as hypocritical as BJP's Rohidas Patel? <laughs> who's a person mm -hmm. who's in the BJP right now, who also uh, opposed what the BJP is doing in terms of ex extending this ban. So if there are people in the BJP too who said that we shouldn't have this. Shiv Sena called it religious terrorism or something. Just now Sanjay Raut has taken that stand. So let us not debate on who's more hypocritical or less hypocritical. But that is important now, because then what is the moral, course, high, what I, is the high water ground you take on And, I, and I hope, and I hope for your sake that at times when the hypocrisies need to be addressed, they send the spokesperson of the Congress and not just a supporter who wants to make a larger point, which I want to come to now. So now the larger point that I want to address. Like China said, we should respect people's religious sentiments. China NC, uh, during the 30 months of Ramzan, I do not take alcohol and I would write that everybody around me does not take alcohol and abstains from sex. I have written a letter to the Chief Minister of Maharashtra to implement this thing because it is the most reasonable thing mm -hmm. to do. It's also part of the Constitution directive principles that we should not be actually taking alcohol. So I would request you in the light of the religious uh, reverence that you have for minorities in this country, suddenly you should take this up. But let me make another point at you because I know you're going to find that hard to answer. You know, there's a great man whom I respect and he made this statement just three days ago. Conflicts arises when radicals push ideologies. That statement was made by our Prime Minister Narendra Modi and he says that in the context of ISIS. Now ISIS is going around pushing its ideologies which are not actually Islamic onto non-believers and they force them 
to uh, adhere to this. You know what? What you are doing right now in Mumbai is very much ISIS-like because the Jains don't believe this is part of their philosophy to make others follow what they believe. If that in. is ISIS-like, then the Congress of also, course. also like ISIS. So I would, I would tell so you. So you admit it was a mistake of the Congress government. Nidhi is the only argument. Is your best argument that because the Congress did it. Mm. The BJP should no. Be allowed to my do argument it. is that exactly. the Congress. No, so the now, argument like, is that the Congress cannot take a high. Can I make another ground. argument? How are you guys different can, from each I'll other? Tell you, I'll you tell also impose this I'll meat ban. You, I'll tell you. Yeah. How are you? For different? instance, yeah. In this particular ban, China's party has banned all meats except fish, and seafoods, as if all animals are equal, but some animals are more equal than others. And the reason why they have done that is because there is a large section. This is about slaughter. One second, Shizad. one second, China. Listen to the point I'm making. The reason why they have done that is because there is a large fishing community in Mumbai, and they can't afford to lose their votes by imposing an economic restriction on that community. So now my argument is that if you are doing this, you're not even practicing it wholeheartedly. You're doing it out of vote banks. You're doing it out of appeasement. If it affects the employment, it affects the employment of people who are even. Okay, let me get me. Rakesh Rakesh Sinha into this. Rakesh Sinha, how does it help? You know the, uh, the the BJP government in the state. You know it's already got this image of being a government that is banning one thing after another. Does it help to now ban meat also, even if it's for four days? I don't think it is a coercive action. There are, there are two th two kinds of ban. One ban is affecting certain people, and you are uh, co uh, coercive. This ban is f to respect certain religion, their their festival. That for the short uh, short period, eight days. It can be six days. It can five days. That that is a subjective matter. What I say that th when he stressed the point to ISIS, I I think we should not stress our point to ISIS. In this country, there is no space for the illiberal politics, illiberal ideology. No ideology can exist. I wish you told that no to no, the ideolo no ideology can exist in India, which which will follow the illiberal politics and policies RSS what, what I, you can say it is your interpretation but I don't go too far I, yeah. I even I don't blame the Congress well, Nidhi we are the victim of selective secularism Whenever our question come, we, we pick up the points from the constitution, we pick up points from Isn't the Isn't this a case of selective security? Let, yeah. let me complete now. You are not my teacher okay, and I am not your student. Minute, okay. and, uh, we, we all have a uh, co-panelist co here. Sure. So it is the selective secularism and the Congress has started this selective secularism. People talk about the uh, constitution. But in the, in the same constitution, there is a co for the co protection that was pursued by Mahatma Gandhi. In the same constitution, there is an informed civil code. Informed civil code and co protection is not the monopoly of the BJP or RSS. This is the constitutional dimension. So you are escaping from the constitutional dimension. Mm -hmm. As far as the ban is concerned, I am giving mm -hmm. one example. When social appeal diminishes, then a state has to come. The, the, see the example of Bihar. In, during the church festival, four to five days, entire state becomes non-vegetarian. Entire state, whether Muslim or Hindu, there is no question of Hindu and Muslim coercion. So here is the because be, being the metropolitan. Is city, that enforced by the state? Let, let me come. I have now. no idea. Is that that's not enforced by the state? Oh, let me I would willingly oh, give oh, up oh, meat. Let me, I uh, don't eat cow. I because Una I wala, respect let, let, your let, sentiments. Let me, but you can't let equate me, let that me complete with my a state sponsored kind of position. Kindly let me complete okay, what okay, I complete say. Your point, yeah. There was a, a social appeal generated in the state. There is a tradition. So there was no Hindu Muslim question there. Here being the metropolitan city where the, the such kind of socialization is not there. So the, a small Jain community at their respect to Jainism, the state has taken... Can I ask one question of Rakesh? Let, let, uh, no, let, no, but let, why? 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 What I say? What I say? If the Congress government is doing certain good thing, as far as secularism or the Narega is concerned, so th that doesn't mean that the BJP government will undo that. Nidhi, one if, one if, one if, one if Congress okay, government yes, has taken more time, I, so I, 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 I know I'm taking more time than I should, uh, but uh, you know, frankly, Rakesh Sinha complimenting the Congress is a great thing for us no, to achieve. If, but, if, but one second, one second, state, one state, one state, state not you, the always don't see in terms right, of the political parties. Right. I'm, I'm so glad that you're saying that today. Like you're supporting the Jain demand or the Jain uh, bit, would you support my demand that 30 days no sex, no alcohol? I mean, why not do that as well? You have started a debate on that. You have I have started, I read in Yes, okay. So, would you, would you so, tell BJP no, to do no, it? No, no. Please so, tell BJP so, so, to do society it. Will participate. Because some animals Look, can't be more they, equal they, than they, others. They one thing. We are not we, animal we, farm and, we, and Muslims will, are no we, less we important than Jains. Greet, we will always greet the, if the wine, alcohol and the killing of the animals. Because it is also... Tell the BJP. Right. If you, what I am shocked that you are always doing debate in terms of Muslim and Hindu. No. Animal rights, I am not telling about that. No, I am he is saying that if, if, we take this logic, if we take this logic further, then during Ramzan, you should say no to sex and to alcohol. And then Sikhs will say something. And have a debate on that. Hindus Look, will say for something. For whole month. And then everybody the killing, will say something. Killing of animals and connecting with the Sikhs 
I am mm-hmm. not I am surprised to see the I comparison. eat food in my house I'm and I have sex in my house no, no, both are done no, in my no, house I, I'm surprised but you say don't do such one illogical, such but you illogical. say do other puna wala I fish okay why I fish is allowed found you such illogical chicken are not allowed because you are fish and chicken okay one second what water I have to get jaded water into this okay one second what argument China 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 just come to you let me get jaded's first comment asking you to come you No, no, Chetan Bhagat, please weigh in on this because you tweeted today. You felt that this was, uh, you know, an, an assault on freedom of choice. And the thing is, Chetan, that it's not unique to the BJP. Like I keep saying, it started with the Congress earlier. It has continued, and now the BJP is trying to enforce it. In fact, they wanted to be increased from four days to eight days. What, what, you know, when you look at this and the fact that actually Shahzad rightly points out, then why isn't fish banned? You know, why are some animals more important than others, Chetan? about slaughterhouses you know uh, firstly i mean uh, yeah uh, firstly i don't think this is about a religion this is not about meat this is not about religion this is about freedom because you can't use state machinery to impose your sentiment on others sentiments are a wonderful thing i make a living from sentiments writing stories which are sentimental but for my sentiments i can't use the state machinery have bans therefore make it illegal for someone else to feel a certain way because that's just not the country we are in if you declare this a hindu republic or a hindu jain republic or xyz republic then we can be that way but i was born to and brought up in school to believe that we are in a free secular republic so these things have no place here you can tell people please don't eat meat in these days i will not uh, be very happy if you do that and if people follow it it's amazing if they don't they don't it's very uh, strange where and i've even heard there are some midday school uh, scheme in schools where in during ramadan they don't that's give uh, any kid uh, midday Chetan, meals that's, that's not also wrong those and articles also wrong those articles are false i can confirm them I, I, and i know okay maybe it's not true, it's I, not true. I, i know i know those it's to draw yes, moral equivalence i have gone by the right hearing more reports about that okay fine yeah, sure i am saying if 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 somebody if if you if you if someone suggested it that would be wrong too Yeah. and this is also wrong because then where do you stop at lent for christians or what about navratri or what about you know all sorts of thing and i don't know how he somebody who just proposed a no sex rule i don't know how they will check that people no have not had sex sarcasm. is there going to be somebody made in charge of checking that so i think that's not the kind of modern india we want to see and therefore exactly. as a writer as somebody who yeah, enjoys the freedom of being a writer rakesh sena of the rss so has a question for you chetan chetan very hard to fight for. okay rakesh sena has a question for you that i'll come chetan i know that uh, no illiberal activity should be go on through the state but uh, one question to you the, 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 since you t- told that the state should not act like that in california uh, horse meat is banned it is not by the state do you think that it should be declared a christian state it is not because they, the christians dominate because the horse is a friend is not sacred no, to christian no, 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 in, no, in california uh, in california second we we all no, this is all, all over the world okay. you mean california you mean uh, chetan you know union festival in china was opposed all over the world and there is on the state. i'm not a ex- So wh- wh- how do you compare with the one state that it should be declared Hindu or Jain? Listen, I, I'm not an expert on. No, no. Chetan wants to answer that. Yes, yes, yes Chetan. No, no. I, I, See, firstly, I why the comparison s- with California? Yeah. Firstly, I'm no expert on horse meat. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I don't know <laughs> about. I'm no expert on horse meat in California. But let me. I know this that uh, California. I, let me just tell you, California also allows same-sex marriages. So if you are exactly. so fond of California law, maybe you should bring those laws in first too. and have section 377 removed but let's not discuss california and uh, people eating dog in korea that's irrelevant it is not about meat whether it could be gulab jamuns if you ban gulab jamuns for 8 days will, will it be a different debate then okay you know i think the point Rupin is Doshi why is a jain? are you imposing yeah. somebody else's will on the other i think the jain community mm. yeah the exactly. jain community is one of the most decent most tolerant communities in india and they are that's getting true. a bad name today because they oh. have never imposed their yeah. they and convinced Ru- Ru- they rupin doshi is an entrepreneur but He's this kind of a fascist behavior okay you're calling it fascist behavior strong words from you rupin doshi is a member of the jain community from mumbai he is the ceo of a company uh, of a tech firm in mumbai mr doshi how do you feel about this entire controversy today uh, and uh, and this whole idea of 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 a meat ban because of this jain festival I think this whole controversy is generated because of ignorance. Ignorance by somebody who is imposes ban, somebody ignorance by people who have advised them. What is pajoshan? Pajoshan is the celebration of the natural qualities of the soul through its 10 virtues. What are those 10 virtues? Kshama, tap, tyag, 
मार्जव आर्जव सत्य सौच अकिंचक ब्रह्मचार्य डिड यू हियर फूड एनी वेर इन दिस डिड यू हियर आहार एनी वेर इन दिस फूड एंड आहार इज अ वेरी स्मॉल सबसेट विल प्रॉब्ली कम थर्टीथ और फोर्टीथ इन द लिस्ट सो देर इज नथिंग टू डू विद रिलीजन इन दिस रिमेंबर जैंस बिलीव अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग बिलीवर्स ऑफ अहिंसा वी डोंट इवन वॉन्ट टू थिंक वायलेंस राइट फॉरगेट एग्जीक्यूट वायलेंस so when we don't think violence how can we ever support something which is forced on the uh, uh, citizens at large through the law so first point second point is we definitely believe in live and let live all the time regardless of this we have believed in live and let live so im- imagine that we were you know uh, party to this this kind of a ban then my my christian friends would uh, tell me to be celibate during lent my muslim friends would offer me meat goat uh, as prasad during bakri eid will i accept that no i will not okay. so obviously i will not thrust my opinion on them so that is a normal live and let live policy where jains follow so i really don't know why this has come about my impression was that this new government both in delhi and in maharashtra was a smart government the people who are who this benefits people jains like us so to say benefits i don't eat meat in any case so it doesn't make a difference to me but hindus and jains who will benefit by this are already voters and a vote bank for the ruling party so i thought the bjp was a smart party <clears throat> why are you wasting your time on your already existing vote bank guys uh, spend some time on the muslim community give them more sanitation education do that kind of stuff they'll probably come and vote for you so it really baffles me as a ordinary citizen and a follower of jainism why this thing has come about at all